覚悟してろよ行くぜ Welcome to Warbreaker Coo's Reviews. I'm your host, Warbreaker Coo, and today we are reviewing the Astrobots Robotic Space Colonization, Colonization Force uh, Athena. I can't, you can't even talk today. Wow. We're going to keep that, though. We're not deleting that. We're going to keep it in. When we mess words up, we keep the words messed up on this channel. Uh, first off, I want to give a, a shout out to Astrobots. I had a slight defect with mine. Um, I got it from Big Bad Toy Store, which I love, but I saw this scratch and it's right next to her mustache and she should not have one. I contacted them and they sent out this from Hong Kong free of charge. So that was really nice that I, I could review a figure that is done the right way. Cause you know, scratches happen sometimes, but on a face that was a real problem. So this is my second Astrobot figure. I have another one, which is right here. I forget his name. I think his name was like, it was very plain. I can't remember his name. I'm sorry. But um, this Astrobot was my first one. I never reviewed him. I got him for trading a Marvel Legends head for, from I forget the guy's name, from Civil War, the villain, uh, Skull, Skull Taskmaster, something, not Taskmaster, Crossbones. Yeah, I traded a Crossbones head and the guy gave me this. And I've been messing with this thing for years. It is some of the best articulated figures. Uh, it's one of the best articulated figures I've ever owned. Um, and I play with my son with this toy. So it's one of the few things I actually do with this figure. And it holds up really well. So I could not resist when I saw how much uh, these were, how much these were being talked about. I will say this. If you ever don't want to buy a action figure, don't watch the Amazing's videos because this dude killed it and made me want to get this figure. And now I have it and I'm glad I do. So let's start with the accessories. Um, you only get one head. Mine's a, a, a defect. Then you've got the secondary head, which looks really nice too. It's like a little visor. So I like that head as well. Um, then you get a shit ton of hands. And when I say a shit ton, I mean there's a lot here. Let's let's break them down. So we have the open hand, like come to me and grab my hand. We've got a closed fisted hand for holding weapons. We've got a non closed fist, just punchy fist. Okay. And there's two of each of those. So is there anything else? Like a clawed hand. That one's interesting. A open hand for your hips. A slapping kung fu hand, like right there. And a peace hand for saying peace and chicken grease. So, yeah, that's that's a lot. That's a lot of accessories, you know? And yeah, is she like 60 bucks? Yes. Is she worth the 60 bucks? Well, after this review, I'll let you know. Um, she's got this backpack piece as well. And there's a lot of cool things with this. You can take this apart like that. You can even put it on her skirt. You can take these weapons off. Let's do that. I don't want to break it. Let's pull it out the right way. Whew, close. And then you can put these here like so. And you almost got like a little skirt piece. That is cool. Quite kind of crazy, and I dig it. Do you dig it, sucker? <laughs> and you could put this back. No, you can't. It's a lie. You can't put that down there. So it is what it is. But I think that looks good. You can reverse things, change the silhouette up, or you can just flip it back how it was, keep that, and now she's kind of flying. Okay with these little things. Or she can use these as weapons. So, I mean, the sky's the limit with this figure. She's got a lot of cool accessories, um, but let's really look at why I bought her, okay? And the real reason is the articulation. Um, look at this. 
It is just so smooth to get her to move. She can look up like that, look it down. I mean, just the articulation, how smooth it is. Look at that on camera. Oh yeah, this is an accessory too. So she has heels. And if you want to get her some funky poses, you can put this little mini miniature base down and she stands even better. But she's even got some toe articulation down here. The paint looks good, and these plastic parts come off. I have a desire to take it off. I don't know why you ever would, but if you want to, it's the thing you do, as M. Go says. Um, she has articulation in the waist. Look at that. I mean, she is absolutely, positively wonderful. Just wonderful. I love the articulation on this figure. It's just chef's kiss. Oh, yeah, you can do this, too. But she's got these spots on her hand, so she's got like a little wrist blaster now. Pachoom, pachoom, pachoom. So, yeah, just double jointed hands. Um, she's got some, some cha chas up front, and they look pretty big. That's crazy. Um, but this Athena is just flat out fun. It's fun as this guy. The only thing she's missing is the articulated fingers, but you see how small her fingers are. She's not going to be able to articulate her fingers like this guy. And to be honest with you, over time, even this guy, even though he has articulated fingers, this part right here with the metal, it comes off um, and you have to put all the fingers back on. It's not super complicated. I'm sure it was over the time of me having this guy beat the hell out of my son's Power Rangers that it broke, or not broke, but got loose, okay? Because this thing has been... Drop, play, kick, I mean, you name it. Anything you don't do with figures normally, I've done because it didn't cost me anything for this guy. Plus, he has light piping. Or not light piping, he has a battery inside. So, this guy's done everything. So, when it comes to quality, these figures are quality. Um, if I had to rate Athena out of 10, um, for what she is, I'm going to give her a... Man, I'm going to give her a 10 because if this is what they intended to make, it is chef's kiss to me. The only thing I wish they could have done more is give, give me give me more more of a Fembot, okay? Give me even more of a Fembot, but this is, this, is, this is great. I love it. And let's show you what else they're working on. All right, the one I'm probably going to get next is this chick right here, Artemidas. This chick looks the bomb.com. She's got like a one enlarged claw hand. I hope she has another head, but she is looking dope and she's a villain. So I need to have a villain for them and she looks like she's going to be fit in that mode. So yeah, and that's um, Artemis. Thank you for watching. Until next time, peace and Astro Grease.